28. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raka Hakwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom Love Aquarium, that is peace to the elect. Okay, I was working on another video, and it's um uh this person here uh who usually leaves his scoffing um comments. I, I believe this guy's from Britain or somewhere I've heard him speak. Um but when I went to his page I kind of noticed something that was hypocritical and that's a lot of these guys like this. I, I'm gonna keep it clean. Um so this is by the Lord's will this will be a short video. Now this guy calls himself Apostle for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Now he hates One West. It's, it's it's not GMS that he dislikes. He dislikes all the One West um, Israelites. Okay, uh, so he's really on the same boat with Vocab Malone, but he still claims to be an Israelite. If that's confusing enough, okay. The scriptures speak about doing nothing against the truth, but for the truth. Okay, so. Even if he doesn't like One West, the fact that we're teaching Israelites should mean something, that we're Israelites should mean something, but not to this guy, okay? This guy uh, got all his Hebrew from the Lashawan Kadash, okay? He got all his interpretations and understanding of the Bible from One West, if you can believe that. But somehow, One West is wrong. One West has a false doctrine. Now, you would know from the root of One West, if it was false, the name would be false, right? The Hebrew would be false. Everything would be false. But somehow, they extract what they wanted, they, they've learned and what they taught and um, found a way to keep the One West Hebrew, but pushes off the One West doctrine. Which basically the context is with the document. So they're really still teaching One West in a sense. They're following One West, but they hate One West. If that's not hypocritical enough. Now the word loser may come to mind, but I'm going to keep it clean. But this is pretty much what we see. Okay. Uh, this is um, Ezekiel. Okay, 3 and 17, it says, Son of man, I've made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, okay, it says, Therefore hear the word of my mouth and give them warning from me. So when you go to this guy's page, okay, he's supposed to be warning the house of Israel, right? Now, he may claim he's warning the house of Israel from... Um, of the Israelites, okay? But that only goes but so far because once you warn uh, everybody about GMS and IUIC and IHBK, how much farther did you go? Are you a prophet, okay? So if you're an apostle, the apostle means sent forth by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh if you're an apostle, you would be more likely a prophet. So if you're a prophet, where's your videos that you prophesied, okay? Where are those videos at? I don't need to go. These guys, the guy uh, from Detroit Leader and various other guys that they'll use to come together. But notice, none of these guys are on fire on the highways and hedges. It's like they're lost. And being lost, they have to find something to do. Okay. <laughs> they have to find something to do. So they come on your page, call you names. Um... Whatever they do, you know, I mean, I, I'm not mad about it because scoffers have a job. You know, this is your job, scoffers. This is what you're supposed to do. The Lord set you up to be who you are. You are ordained from the wound. That's a shame, and, that, and that's scary to know you were ordained from childbirth to be who you are, to be a scoffer or to be whatever else it is that you are. That's That's serious. Exodus nineteen twenty one, and the Lord said unto Moses, Go down, charge the people, okay, lest they break through unto the Lord uh, uh, to gaze, and many of them perish, okay. So we had a lot of people that's coming in the truth, okay. We we go. The Lord gave us the message, and I'll say that starting with the apostles, 
okay? And their teachers who taught them, who brought this word forth, and now start with Apostle Tahar and Down, who has brought this word forth, and, you know, they came on down and said, hey, you're an Israelite. And then we take it and say, hey, you're an Israelite, you know? So we supposed to do as Moses did, you know? You're supposed to go and bring this word forth, okay? He said, that it was it, like the apostle said, it wasn't, wasn't the law of Moses. It was the law of the Most High given to Moses. And, and now you have the, the law, which is these scriptures. Let me say the scriptures now is given to the apostles to, to uh, bring on down to, you know, everybody else to feed the elect. But this guy here, he has managed to take the name of the apostles, the apostle of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay? So if he know anything about the apostles, it wouldn't just be one man. Okay? So where's the other, where's his other fellow uh, apostles teaching the same doctrine he's teaching? They don't even believe all in the same doctrines. They'll come together. Or one accord to come against one West, GMS mainly because we're number one. You know, that proves it. So they come against us, but they all have different doctrines. This, this is crazy. The scripture says one body. But these guys, especially this guy here, he claims he's an apostle for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So if you're an apostle, that means you, you would be uh, sent, sent away, sent forth to teach the truth. Okay, so along with exposing the truth or, or false prophets, which in his right he believes he's doing, why isn't he teaching the truth? Why isn't he out on the highways and hedges being an apostle for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah? That is something. I mean, you have all kind of weirdos that just wake up one morning, they run to the, the fabric store and they throw, buy a garment and, and iron on some fringes and they come out with their little canister so they'll drink of water and then they go out for two days and then you never see them again okay you got all kind of weirdos out there man okay matthew 7 and 21 it says uh not everyone that saith unto the to, unto me lord lord shall enter into the kingdom of heaven okay but he that doeth the will of my father which is in heaven so if he's an apostle for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, is he doing the will of the Heavenly Father? What is the will of the Heavenly Father? Okay. Go ye therefore to the highways and the hedges, and as many as you shall find, bid to the marriage. This is what the scriptures say. I believe Matthew, the fourth chapter. Go to the highways and the hedges and bid to the marriage. But are these guys doing that? Absolutely not. Matthew 3 and 8. It says, uh, let me go to 3 and 7. It says, but when he saw many of the Pharisees and the seducers come to the baptism, and that's these guys. They all want to come so-called to be baptized into the truth. Okay? He said unto them, O generation of vipers. So the Lord already knew who the hell you are, man. Okay? Who have warned ye, warned you to flee from the wrath to come. Okay? The, the real prophets is going to be warning. Okay? These guys, they're the generation of vipers, man. Okay? It says, bring forth therefore fruits, meat for repentance. Okay? So you have the time to repent. You know, if you're wicked, you have the time to repent and get yourself back, right? And do what you're supposed to do. Okay? But it's not likely most of you guys are going to repent. It's not likely, man. You came in the truth just to be a flunky. And they call us flunkies. Well, you're really flunked, which is a failure, when you stop doing the work. You were then a flunky. That's all I have on that. Shalom.